Tomorrow, the RBA will make its latest interest rate decision, the monthly decision, of course, and money markets are giving it a 92% chance that things will remain on hold. This is after inflation, retail sales dropped more than expected in June. Joining me now is our business reporter, Edward Boyd. Ed, money markets seem to think the cash rate is on hold and it's a done deal. That's certainly what money markets think. Now, just going back a week, um, it wasn't a 92% chance. It was more like an 80% chance. But in the past seven days, we've seen inflation in the June quarter fall to 6%, which was a good sign. We also saw on Friday the retail sales numbers being a lot weaker than anticipated. We were expecting retail spending in June to be flat. Instead, it declined by almost a full percentage point down to $35.2 billion. So again, that's a sign that interest rates are having an impact on Australia's economy. However, you look at the survey of economists, Bloomberg surveyed 26 economists in the last couple of days, 15 of them actually think the cash rate is going to need to rise tomorrow to 4.35% and only 11 of them believe the cash rate will remain on hold. And it's all due to the unemployment rate being close to record lows at 3.5%. When the unemployment rate is that low, pay rises go up. Different companies need to poach workers, offer them larger salaries, they change jobs. And right now, there are concerns with economists, at least, that those pay rises are being spent in the economy. That extra cash people are getting, they're spending it in the economy and adding to inflation, as opposed to what the Reserve Bank wants to see, which is spending that money on mortgages. So that's the theory, at least, Laura, from the economic side of things as to why rates need to go up. It remains to be seen what the Reserve Bank board decide tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, OK, so big decision weighing on the board tomorrow. The Reserve Bank could also downgrade some of its economic forecasts for this calendar year. Yes, yeah, so tomorrow we'll get the statement at 2.30 and in that statement we'll also likely to receive some new economic forecasts because they released their statement of monetary policy which is a quarterly very broad document that comes out this Friday but what usually happens tomorrow is the RBA gives us a little snippet of what to expect in that document and the big number is GDP Australia's economic growth it was expected back in May when the RBA last released this update to be 1.2 percent for this year now there's plenty of economists that think it should be a little bit lower because our economy has slowed down somewhat in the last couple of months so so it could be below 1%. So that's really the figure, the most interesting figure at least, that we'll be looking out for tomorrow when the RBA released their statement at 2.30pm. OK, looking forward to it, Ed. Thanks so much. Thanks, Laura.